When I bought there for Contessa from Diana Estrada in 1978, she was famous for her chocolate cheesecake. I looked through my old files and dug out the recipe. I'm gonna make it for her for lunch. I think she'll be really surprised. So the first thing I wanna do is make the crust. I need 10 graham crackers. I'm just gonna break them up into the food processor. This is just a classic graham cracker crust with a little bit of cinnamon added to it. Just process them. You want them really finely ground. Okay, teaspoon of cinnamon. Cinnamon and chocolate is a great combination. And some melted butter, about five tablespoons. Just gonna pour it right into the food processor. Just give it a blitz. Put it into a nine inch cap, spring form pan. I'm just press this right into the pan. I'm gonna bake at 350 degrees for 12 minutes. And in the meantime, I'm gonna make the filling. Perfect. Can't make chocolate cheesecake without chocolate. So I'm gonna do five ounces of bittersweet chocolate. I'm just gonna melt it. The best way to melt chocolate is to just chop it up in small pieces. You don't want to overheat it, otherwise it'll taste bitter and, and sort of burnt. So just shave it like this. When I melt chocolate, I actually melt it a little under-melted because the heat just continues to melt the chocolate. So into a double boiler, which is basically a, a dish over a pan of simmering water, not boiling. And then to give it more flavor, and this is interesting because it must have been Diana's original idea to add coffee to chocolate really makes a difference. So it's a tablespoon of instant espresso powder. I'm just gonna let that hang out there. You know, when I first bought Bear for Contessa, I remember this cake so vividly because it was incredibly expensive that we used to sell it by the inch. I don't know why. I think it was $40. It's sort of like from 1978, it would be like a cake being $150 now. We closed the door one night. There was nothing left in the store except this one cake, and somebody knocked on the door and said, I, I need something for dessert, I need something chocolate. And I said, all I have is this one cake, it's incredibly expensive, it's $40. I was really embarrassed. <laughs> and they said, we'll take it. And I thought, I like this business, this works for me. <laughs> so this is just melted now. And I think the crust is all ready. Perfect, you can smell the cinnamon. Okay, now, next thing I need for the filling is one and three quarter pounds of cream cheese. It has to be at room temperature. That's eight. That's a big cake. One cup of sugar. A quarter of a cup of cornstarch. Teaspoon of good vanilla extract. A quarter of a teaspoon of almond extract. And just mix that together. I'm just gonna whip this on medium high speed until it's light and fluffy. Okay, next are the eggs, three eggs. Oh, this is perfect, it's nice and light. So now I'm gonna add the eggs one at a time. If the cream cheese isn't room temperature, it'll never incorporate the eggs. Next thing is a half a cup of sour cream. And now for the cool chocolate. You wanna make sure the chocolate is completely cool. Otherwise you'll scramble the eggs and the cake. That's not pretty. So just on very low speed. This is such a decadent dessert. I think maybe I'll give Diana what's left over to take home. So just like most cheesecakes, this cake bakes in two parts. First part is 350 degrees for an hour. And then I'm gonna open the oven door and let it cool in the oven for an hour and a half. That really prevents it from cracking. So it cools very slowly. This is about as decadent as it gets. 
and smooth it out. And as if this isn't decadent enough, I'm gonna make some warm chocolate ganache and drizzle it over to the cake. It's gonna be so good. And next, I'm gonna make Diana's classic carrot salad. In 1978, when I bought Barefoot Contessa, one of the most popular desserts that Diana Strada made was this chocolate cheesecake. It has lots of espresso in it, has great flavor. And I thought, I'm just gonna turn up the volume a little bit and add a drizzle of chocolate ganache. I'm chopping up a quarter of a pound of bittersweet chocolate. I've got a double boiler that I made with a glass bowl and simmering water. Put the chocolate right in. Okay quarter of a cup of heavy cream and just heat those together just until the chocolate melts. Ganache is great for icing chocolate cakes, but it's also terrific if you want to drizzle it on a dessert. If you haven't you know, drizzled it on the plate, but for this, I'm just going to drizzle it on the top of the chocolate cheesecake. Here's the cake. Doesn't that look great? I'm just going to take a spoon and just drizzle it on. Well, I would say dessert is done. And now I'm going to start on the main course. <laughs> 